In this Logic Pro X tutorial, we're going to be covering basic shortcuts for beginners. Obviously a little bit more advanced than just Command C, Command V. This is just a small snippet of content from a more extensive Logic Pro X tutorial that I've posted on YouTube for free. So if you're interested in a bigger picture Logic Pro X tutorial from a beginner's perspective, you're just new and you don't really know anything about it, I recommend checking that out. If there's a free link in the description below. For convenience, if you want to follow along with the same Logic Pro X session that I have right here. Um, there is a free download that I've left you just so it's helpful for you to be seeing the same view. So if you want that, it is free in the description below. Let's get into this video of basic beginner shortcuts if you're new to Logic Pro X, and then I'll show you where you can go after that to get more helpful shortcuts as an intermediate or advanced producer. And by clicking around, you'll be able to see what the shortcuts are. For example, I'm just under window here and I can see what the shortcuts are on all the sides. Not to mention, put the information bar on time and again. I know it is annoying, but it is helpful with understanding what things are and, and where they are. But let's get into 10 or 11 of my favorite shortcuts that I use quite often. So the biggest one I would say is I would press enter a lot. Um, if the cursor is over here, I press enter to bring it back to number one. And uh, the second biggest one is I use enter and then colon to get the track in place to the cursor. And uh, that is great because if you're recording something and it's over at um, where it is at nine and you wanna get it back to one, instead of clicking and dragging it over, you can just go enter and then semicolon and that track will slide over. Obviously, simple shortcuts like Command Z for undo, Command X, Command C, Command V. I'm not gonna mention those, but obviously I use those a lot as well. Solo and mute are really uh, valuable shortcuts. Instead of just pressing S or pressing M, you can just press S or M on the, on the laptop and you can use the down arrows to go through different tracks. So if I wanna go quickly up and mute the drums, I can do that or go over and mute my audio. Um, doesn't doesn't really matter. I do use those often. I'm switching back and forth between my keyboard and mouse, but still valuable shortcuts to mention. The next big one I use is command comma a lot to bring up the audio outputs and inputs that I'm using because sometimes I'm changing between um, different studio monitors and speakers and different inputs. I'm on constantly doing command comma and then command W to bring the window down instead of going to logic profile preferences audio. It's much quicker to do command comma and then command W to bring that down. Another big one is just pressing O will open the loop browser from the side here. And as we saw, most of this track is actually just done We're using loops. So we can constantly just be pressing O to open that loop browser. Open and close. And as we saw, our arrangement is nicely um, divided into different colors. And how we did that was just option C and that brought up the color window nicely where we can just drag that around and have it here by clicking the track and putting different colors if we want to. The next big one is mixer. And instead of going open window open mixer, I'd use command two a lot to open that mixer and then command W to close it down because I'm usually mostly on just one window and I don't have two big screens all the time. Sometimes most mixers would have mixing window on one complete separate computer screen and then the main window on another. So with that, because I don't have those two screens, I'm constantly going command two to open the window and then command W to close it down. The last two big ones that I'm using often are command D to copy the same track with the same preset channel settings. So for example, if I really like um, this bell bottom bass and I really like the EQ and the reverbs they have on that, I'm gonna go command D and, and copy that exact same um, preset channel over. So you can see this bell bottom bass here has a channel EQ and two buses. Well, I just copied this over and that has the same exact thing. So that's really valuable if you're doing vocal tracking and you want multiple um, vocal tracks with the same presets on it. So I use that one a lot. And the other one is just getting new tracks. And I recommend just actually going up here and memorizing these, but as simple as just doing option command N and then choosing it up here as well. So those are the basic shortcuts that I would recommend knowing off by heart as a beginner, just to start getting your feet wet with things. Obviously you can be get way more advanced with shortcuts from an intermediate or advanced perspective. There are a lot of great YouTube videos out there where you can take a look at. I'm a singer songwriter myself and I use Logic Pro X for everything. If you're curious to hear what I sound like, I'll leave a couple links to my music in the description. And if you want more content on growth, personal growth, entrepreneurship, or music, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.